on, Brother Rupert. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 15, verse 4. Uh, for all my subscribers, thank you very much. I'm honored and privileged. And if you like these videos, go and subscribe, ring the bell. So, yeah, chapter 15, verse 4. It's a short little verse. Well, it's not really short, but I'll read it to you. And when they were come to Jerusalem, they received of the church and of the apostles and elders. And they declared all things that God had done with them. So, it's an interesting little verse. So, the, Paul and Barnabas left Anatoch with the help of the church there, the congregation. Gave them money and supplies. And as uh, we should do with our church people, our missionaries, we should give our missionaries uh, supplies and money to go Go where they need to go. Go to Jerusalem or go wherever they want to go, wherever God calls them. And that's what the brethren that Anatoke did. And uh, they w walked throughout modern-day Lebanon and uh, modern-day West Bank, which was Samaria. Um, and they, they told everybody, all the brethren in those places, uh, what God has been doing with them. And when they got to Jerusalem... Uh, they met with the apostles and elders of the church, and they told them everything God had done with them. Now, notice uh, it's not written uh, all the things that God had done by them, but all the things that God had done with them. Uh, it doesn't say all the things that God had done to them. It says all the things that God had done with them, with them. See, when you're out preaching in the missionary field or in your church or whatever, God's working with you. He's not working separately from you. He's not working ahead of you. He's not working behind you. Uh, God's not doing his own thing and you're doing your own thing. No, 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 no. God's working with you. Uh, when you're preaching at a church, God's working with you. If you're praying for people, God's working with you. If you're a missionary, God's working with you. Uh, God's always working with you. He works with his creation. Uh, the Bible's got 4,000 years of of uh, God working with people, with his creation. God always works with his creation. Um, you know, he didn't have to throw the devil down on the planet Earth here to tempt a man. He could have sent the devil to another planet or to the moon. <laughs> Sorry. Could have confined him to the moon. You know, it could have bounced around all the craters there. But uh, he... You know, he didn't have to do that. He, Adam and Eve could have stayed forever in the Garden of Eden. Um, but and when they fell, God worked with man. He could have killed Adam and Eve right there. Just go wipe them out and start over. Create another man, another woman. He didn't do that. He worked with Adam and Eve. He worked with Adam and Eve's descendants. He's working with us today to do his will in this world. God could do, he doesn't need us. My Lord, God does not need us. If you learn anything from me or the Bible, God does not need us for nothing. Nothing. God can do, he's got the whole universe to himself. He doesn't need us for nothing. He doesn't even need to save us. We could all be sent you know, to damnation and, you know, God doesn't, he loves us. He doesn't want us to do that, but uh, he doesn't need us. The only reason he's gone to this great extent to working with us and saving us and sending his son to die on the cross was because he loves us. He's working with us to save us. He doesn't need to do any of that for us. We need him. <laughs> it's 100% us needing him and 0% him needing us. So, yeah. So anyway, the apostles were telling all the apostles and elders um, 
or well, Paul and Barnabas, telling all the apostles and elders what the great things God was doing with them in Asia Minor, in Cyprus, and all the Gentiles coming into the church. And um, there was a lot to tell and uh, great things to tell. And, and the fellow Christians need to hear that. We need more testimony services in our churches. Uh, we need to hear the great things God is doing through other people. It builds faith. It builds everybody's faith. And we got away from testimony services. Um, we need to get back to that. Uh, testimony, people give their personal testimonies of what God's doing with them. Um, it just builds the faith of the whole congregation. So, anyway, I said my piece. <laughs> That's a great little verse. I love. I like this little verse. Anyway, we'll uh, tackle verse 5 next time. God bless you. Love you.